Lories are a member of the primate family, a suborder of wet-nosed monkeys, often referred to as lemurs, but more correctly as lorikeets. Nowadays, loris are becoming more and more popular as pets, and people often know little about them and fall prey to the momentary urge that occurs when they see the expressive eyes and intelligent expression of this animal's muzzle. It is common to keep a big fat lorry, Nyctispus kukang, and a little lorry, Loris tardigradus, as pets, which differ in size and coloration, but are similar in keeping, so let's talk about both of them. A fairly large cage or aviary and chinchilla aviaries can be used, is necessary to keep a lorry in captivity. It is necessary to place the dwelling so that the animal is not exposed to drafts, sudden temperature changes and humidity, these heat-loving animals are very easy to catch a cold. To create a more cozy microclimate in the cage or aviary, you can cover half of it with cloth, to avoid drafts and so on. It is also necessary to keep in mind that loris can reach into the cage and may be poisoned by houseplants, get caught up in wires or cords, injure their limbs or be a victim of other pets or small children. Loris are nocturnal and quite secretive animals, so the cage must have a shelter, a house, in which the lemur will sleep or hide from enemies. The house must be in the upper part of the cage, because the lemur is a woody animal and feels more comfortable when climbed up. The lorry's cage can be both rag and wooden or plastic, it can be different in design and size, but you shouldn't make it huge. The cage should also have all sorts of tools for climbing, for this purpose well-mounted branches from trees and wooden perches, which you can find in pet stores or make yourself. Wood absorbs urine, and loris will leave their scent marks on it, which is very important for animal, so don't wash it off, because it will stress the animal. Also thick ropes and rings made of ropes, you can often find such in pet stores, for dogs or parrots, are suitable branches and ropes must be set up, as the loris do not have a long tail with which to cling to vertical branches. If you are going to breed more than one individual, you should consider that conflicts may arise between lemurs. Although pairs or a male with several females usually get along quite well, there can always be situations where one resident of the enclosure will want privacy. When keeping several animals in one aviary, there is always a hierarchy, weaker animals try to avoid possible aggression of dominant individuals and go to the lower part of the aviary when they feel threatened, trying to stay unnoticed. That's why it is important to have large open-air cage for several animals and also to avoid blind alleys and places where two loris couldn't give way to each other which may provoke a conflict. To avoid confrontations, you will need to make a separate house for each species. Lorries are curious and clever, so lock the doors of their cage. An escaped lorry is sure to get into trouble. In their natural habitat, lorries eat insects and other small prey such as small reptiles and birds, as well as various plant foods. Some studies have shown that lorries in the permanent Malaysian population specialize in a high-calorie diet consisting of flower nectar and tree sap which they extract by gnawing on tree bark. This may be the reason why some captive specimens actively gnaw on branches in their enclosure. The basis of a diet in captivity is vegetable food, they like grapes very much, eat bananas, kiwi, cucumbers, tomatoes and other things, they like vegetables less, however, each lorry is individual in its food preferences. Every day it is necessary to give live insects, Crickets, zoophobas, locusts, mealworms, sometimes you can give boiled chicken meat, raw eggs, quail eggs are preferable, and dairy products, non-fat curd, baby milk porridge, as well as baby fruit puree. Insects should be purchased from specialized stores, specially bred for feeding purposes, and in no case do not feed cockroaches caught in the kitchen, as they can be carriers of infectious diseases, helminths or poisoned insecticides. Be careful with vitamins and vitamin supplements, because the dosage, if necessary, should be calculated by an expert, and preferably the breeder himself, otherwise with the wrong dosage is very easy to get hyper-A-vitaminosis. Very common mistake is to feed lorry with sausages, buns, yogurt and other goodies from the table, which they like to eat, but this diet leads to various diseases, especially of the digestive system. From feeding mostly soft foods, mashed fruit, bread soaked in milk, etc.
You get plaque on their teeth, which turns into tartar, which causes their teeth to loosen or fall out. Loris tend to refuse to eat food because they cannot eat solid food. Insufficient intake of minerals and vitamins with food aggravates the severity of the disease. In these cases, it is necessary to carry out a comprehensive treatment under the supervision of a specialist. Your Lori's favorite food can be used to establish contact with him by trying to feed him from his hand. For the sake of a pitophobe, even the grumpiest Lori will be ready to leave his hiding place. People who want to have it in their house should know that it is not so easy to tame them. They have rather sharp teeth and they bite bit biting, if we speak about natural breeders, but about mooses which are brought absolutely wild from nature. If you have got a Lowry not from a kennel you should take it to a vet who specializes in such animals, as all too often these animals come to new owners sick and weakened by being shipped from their homeland, and it takes a long time to cure them, that's why you should avoid specialized outlets so as not to get a wild specimen from the wild. Nowadays lorries breed well in captivity, you can buy them in our kennel or from specialized breeders. In spite of all these difficulties, providing adequate keeping conditions, looking after them is not very difficult, and communicating with this clever little forest creature is a lot of fun.